Hello everybody, uh, we're all triaging loads of patients on the phone now to assess COVID-19 and I thought I'd do a quick video to help you with a very helpful test called the Roth test. This test is named after a doc in Israel who's very clever, who did some interesting research trying to remotely estimate a patient's oxygen saturation. In essence, you ask them to count from 1 to 30 in their native language and measure two things, what number they get to and also how long it took them to get there. Uh, do it quickly but clearly and see if they can do it in their native tongue. Now, I'm a Welsh speaker, uh, but today, for once, I'll do it in English. So, here goes. So, take a deep breath in and go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So, so glad to say breathing's fine. Um, and got to 30 and got it in nine seconds. So if I was very short of breath, I could present this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I got the like eight or nine or ten. Um, and you'd measure the time you took to get there and what number I got to. So the research that this guy did is really interesting. If the maximum number they got to was less than ten, or the counting time was less than a total of seven seconds before they had to take a breath, we can guess that the oxygen saturations are less than 95% with a sensitivity of 91 and 83% respectively. If the maximum number they got to was less than 7, with a counting time of less than 5, then we can guess the sats are less than 90 with a sensitivity of 87% and 82% respectively. So look, it's not perfect and it's not as good as a sats pro. It's not going to replace that, but it's definitely something else to consider in part of remote evaluation is an extra facet, is an extra bit to decide, can you manage this patient remotely or do you have to bring them into clinic? Anyway, good luck everyone and hope it's of help. Thank you.